YouTube, I'm back again today for another game review. And today I'm very excited to check it out Hangman from Parker Brothers. This is for ages 8 plus. It's for two players. It'll take you about 5 to 10 minutes to play. And in Hangman, you're going to be playing the classic word guessing, letter guessing game of, you know, Hangman, where you're going to be trying to guess a word before you get hung. I know, kind of an odd theme there. Uh, before we get started in with the review, I want to give a big shout out to V3G, the creator of the Strife games, which I really do enjoy. They helped us send us to Gen Con last year, so be sure to check them out, V3G. But right now, let's check out Hangman and see why exactly you should not just use a pen and a pepper. Alrighty then, we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of Hangman. First and foremost, we're going to get a handy dandy rule sheet. One page, double sided, very easy to understand. It'll have you up and running in no time at all and teach you how to play the game right now. So inside of Hangman, you are both going to get two of these cool little nifty boards right here that uh, you're going to be placing towards your opponent so they can see how they progressively are getting closer to being hung. And if you get to this right here, then you lose the game. Most likely, though, what's going to happen is someone's going to successfully end up guessing someone's word, in which case they will win the game. So how it works is when you first start the game, you are going to decide on a number between, uh, well, I guess three and six most likely, and that's how many letters are going to be in your word. So let's just say we select a five-player word, so we'll go with, I don't know, power. So we'll just go P-O-W-E. Are. And I will say that these things hold nice in place when you close them. I forgot to mention that in the pros, but the components on this are very, very rock solid. So now that we have our word right here, what we're going to do is we're actually going to put it backwards up top right here. Now you're saying, why would you possibly put it backwards? Because you know what your word is, but your opponent does not know what your word is. And as they progressively guess correct letters, what's going to happen is you're going to flip the letters around. So when they successfully get power, if they do, it will be correct to them if you mirror it. So now how it's going to work is uh, your opponent would have his five letter word ready up here. You would have your five letter, uh, five letter word ready. And then you were going to take turns guessing a letter. So I might guess the letter S. Now, if there's no S, then he's going to flip the little dial one time, turn the little dial right there one time. And then I also would have an opportunity to try and guess the word. If I guess it correctly, obviously I win, but if I guess it incorrectly, then turn the dial again. So he would go next, and let's just say he guessed the letter R. So what I would do is I would flip it around like that. He would get an opportunity to guess it if he wanted to, uh, with the knowledge that if he guessed it incorrectly, then he would turn the, I would turn the dial one time. You're gonna go back and forth until either uh, the other guy gets hung or until someone guesses the correct word up here, at which point they will be the winner of Hangman, and that in a nutshell is how the game is played. then, Hangman from Parker Brothers. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First, on the con side, um, it's two players, obviously, very restricted player count. Also, it's never a good thing when your game can be replaced by a pen and a piece of paper. You know, that just generally leads to a bad game experience. Uh, also, it's not going to be for everybody, it's a very simplistic word guessing game. If you have a bigger vocabulary than someone, then you're probably going to beat them. Maybe, you know, I don't know. Whatever your regular cons for Hangman are, they're going to apply here as well. That's about all I got. I mean, it's Hangman. Now, you're probably expecting me to butcher this game and say, no, I can't recommend it. But in fact, I really liked Hangman. It, it takes your typical game of Hangman and makes it different because it turns it into a competitive experience. And I like... I like how everything works. I like how you can see how close you are to getting hung, even though it takes forever to get hung. I like the fact that you have all your little letters in your own little place right there, and that's really cool as well. Uh, I played it with my wife. We had fun playing with it. I think this is a fantastic thing to play with your kids if they're working on spelling. I mean, this is just, this is really good. You know, it's out of print right now, but if you find this at a Goodwill or a thrift store, I highly recommend Hangman. I can't believe I'm saying that. I really like this game. I would love to get even more boards as well. I'd love to get another copy of the game. Uh, so that way maybe you could figure out a way to play it, you know, three, four players. But Hangman, surprisingly, if you were in the market for a fun two-player quick little word game, uh, this one might be one to want to check out. I plan on bringing this into my classroom once I get into the older classrooms. I think it'll be a lot of fun then as well. Just a rock-solid little game 
if you can get past the fact that it could be replaced with a pen and a piece of paper. So that is Hangman from Parker Brothers, a surprising thumbs up for me. If you enjoyed this review, please sure to click on that subscribe button down below in the comments below. Let me know, Hangman, yay or nay? For me personally, always yay. In fact, I actually played Hangman with my wife the first date we went on. We went to this little restaurant called Flat Top Grill, my favorite restaurant in the whole wide world, by the way, where you make your own food, but they give you like this little pencil so you can write your name on this little stick. And I always, whenever I take a date there, I always play Hangman with them. So we played Hangman on our first date. So I love Hangman and I love Flat Top Grill. And surprisingly, I like this game too. But Hangman, yay or nay for you? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.